I was a closet dancer. I always wanted to dance, and even like when I did it socially and at nightclubs and stuff, because of my body size and because I had so much unexpressed motion and passion, I would find myself hiding behind a pillar at the club, or you know, if there was a bar where I could not be seen. Um, that's typically my relationship to dance, and in my heart, I always wanted to move, but I was too scared. There's such joy in dancing. Um, had kids, <laughs> grandkids. Um, I've had guys in my life, and the joy is not the same anywhere in life as it is in dancing. The joy is in the dancing because it frees me to be the person that I would like to be. It frees me, and that is such a gift. What is it when I'm dancing with somebody and they turn around and they leave? That was a big thing for me. At first it was like the end of my world every time somebody did that. Now it's just I pause and I'm not attached to it. And sometimes I do that to people and I realize that I'm just finished with that dance. I'm just finished with that moment with that person. It's nothing personal. I'm just moving on. And there's always a place for so many of my feelings in this work, whether it's I just went shopping and I bought this new shirt and I feel good about it, or I don't really even know if I want to be here. That's the range that I find in this practice. It so embraces my entire um, life. I can feel the rhythms um, in my body and how they connect to my emotions. I've never gone so deep with talk therapy, with any, anything else that I've that I've done, including my, my artwork. I'm more alive when I'm around these young dancers who recharge my batteries, and I, I just wish I could be here more often. <laughs> um, I feel like it's peeling layers off of who I am and bringing me closer to where I want to go. It keeps me willing to stay in my body, keeps me grounded. I found in the rhythms I could do it my own way, but I was guided. I, it's the only thing that I do, I think, my entire life, um, other than relating to my family, th that I don't have any question about. That it just speaks to me and, and I don't have to think, why am I here? Even though I do sometimes think that. But, and that's amazing to me. For years of watching and participating and being a student of the Five Rhythms, I could see so many of my own life stories come up through the dance and other people's and so many dynamics happening in and between uh, the groups because in the Five Rhythms we, we have quite big groups and lots of men, lots of women and amazing dynamics are happening all the time. And so that's, that's the place where I felt like my, uh, my therapy training came in where I thought I really want to find a way to help articulate some of these stories in the dance to bring the skills and the uh, resources that we get from the five rhythm dancing to a therapeutic process. So I invited a group of people who dance the five rhythms regularly, who were willing to risk going a little deeper with themselves and with each other using dance and movement in the open floor process. The process is based on the five rhythms movement practice developed by Gabrielle Roth. I've also incorporated skills and principles from Gestalt Awareness Practice and Somatic Psychology. Five Rhythms provides a language we can use to express ourselves clearly through movement while, at the same time, it grounds us in a practice and a community that can help us integrate insights learned from the open floor. What it is, is, is my, my, uh, my endless need to articulate and be really clear about what we're doing and what we're seeing and how we're acting with each other. What choices are we making in relationship to our own stuff that's coming up, in relationship to somebody else's, and as a group? How are we functioning as a group? And we're making those choices all the time, and we're having reactions and responses all the time. And I, for years, as a teacher of the Five Rhythms, would be seeing this, but not really have any way to comment on it in a way that anybody could make use of it. And so I wanted a form where I could elicit what these patterns are in a way that each of us could take some ownership and some responsibility for what we're doing, and have some ability to play with it, 
to choose. Add new patterns, mess around with old patterns, borrow a pattern or two. 